Those of you who watch my videos regularly will know that I'm not easily impressed. But this week Islands impressed me with the huge new firmware update they just released for the HD1. Usually what tends to happen is that manufacturers release a product, update it a bit and then give up before all the bugs have been properly fixed. But this radio has been out for a long time now and they're still working to make it better and add new features. I'm really impressed. The new firmware has a number of features which I'm going to go through now. Probably the first one you'll notice is that the radio can now do VFO and channel mode at the same time. Previously it would switch both lines on the display so that they were always both on VFO or both on channel mode. Now you can set one individually. So if I turn on the bottom line and then switch to the bottom line I can switch it to VFO mode separately and leave the top line on channel mode. The second change is that there's now a torque permit tone which was much needed. It's the typical Motorola tone that the Chinese manufacturers have been stealing for years now. Unfortunately this still doesn't work as it should do though because it'll give the torque permit tone even if you're not in range of a repeater and then beep at you afterwards to tell you you're not in range. The radio shouldn't play the torque permit tone until it's actually ready for you to talk. That means after it has pinged the repeater to check you're in range. Let me give you a demonstration of how it should work here with the old TYT MD380. So I'm not in range of this repeater right now. If I try to key up, let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. So it's silent. I'm waiting for it to be ready and then it beeps at me to tell me it's not ready. On the HD1, let's see what happens. Hello, this is too easy. Oh, what happened? It's not working. Okay, so it gave me the torque permit tone first and then it beeped at me to tell me that the repeater's not in range. The audio on analog is much louder now and it's at the level it should be. There's also a mic gain option in the menu. I have it turned up to the highest amount which is plus 10 and this seems to give good audio on analog. The green receive information screen now goes away when you open a menu so you can freely browse the menus while listening to a transmission. The time slot is now shown on the home screen both for the top line and the bottom line. The squelch has apparently been improved too. I tested this quickly and didn't notice the radio getting stuck at all on certain channels it usually gets stuck on while scanning so that's a good sign. There are a few more things, I'm not going to go through all of them because some of them are quite minor, but here's the full list if you want to have a look. Thanks for watching, make sure that you're subscribed down below and please give the video a thumbs up if you found this useful.